What is up, everybody? I have an execution gameplay here. It's the first one I think I'm posting on my channel. I'm digging the game type, even though the maps are clearly not designed for execution. But that is a talk for another time. I actually wanted to rant about quick versus ranked match, but before we get into that, I will just say about the gameplay of the other team. Really good players. You might have recognized a couple of them. I'm playing with my friend Wongshot, who's actually on my team, and he's a huge help. This game is really heavily edited. I think it started off being 17 minutes, but I got it down to just under 7. And that's because with the whole verticality and the size of the map, people can run for days, which is a bit of a problem at the moment. So hopefully they'll have maps that are a little bit smaller and uh, a little more symmetrical. And now on to the talk. So I was on the forums and somebody suggested that we re or the Epic Games removed ranked matches from Gears of War. I will say right now, if ranked matches are gone, I honestly think I would not play online. Maybe only private matches. Uh, but I think that is probably one of the worst ideas I have ever heard. Normally I'm not so negative and critical, but uh, I literally wanted to throw my laptop when I saw this. And my laptop is pretty expensive. So I think they wanted ranked removed because it's a solution to the whole population count problem. But I think that can be more so attributed to the fact that there's a ridiculous amount of playlists for a small amount of maps and a small amount of game types. I think you have your VIP playlist, downloadable maps playlist, even though there's only one downloadable map and then your standard, and that's just a ridiculous amount for such uh, little content in the game. But I think they're already, in, uh, Epic knows about that, and they're going to fix that in the future, so I'm not even going to bother talking about it. It's just a matter of time. As far as quick and rank go, I'm going to start with quick. When do I play quick match? I play quick match when I'm with friends, just playing with a guest, because it's always nice to pop a guest in there. When I'm trying to play little gears before I go to class or when I'm just not looking for a competitive uh, fun because I haven't been playing for, for a bit or maybe I just got back from a party and I'm really intoxicated and I just can't play at a very competent level. I'm not going to lie, I did that once which is why I uh, mentioned it. I do not endorse playing while intoxicated, especially if you are not of age, but um, I'm not the boss of you so you can, you can do what you want. My big problem with Quick is that uh, it's just not, it, it ruins the flow of the game. It's not competitive half the time and it's not fun. I'm not saying it's always not competitive, but uh, it's less competitive than I would say ranked is uh, in, in terms of uh, overall consistency. The problem with Quick is you have people dropping in and out all the time and then you, you're just not up against the same people. Half the time you're up against bots or guests who don't really know what they're doing and I play Gears for competitive fun and that just defeats the purpose for me. Which is why I'm really hesitant to play Quick Match. I, I don't think Quick Match is bad, and I would not argue to uh, remove Quick Match. It obviously has a place in the Gears world. It's just not for me or other competitive uh, gamers. I'd also say if you removed one or the other, if you removed Rank, then you'd have all the good players migrating to Quick, and then all the casual players would just probably um, get frustrated because they'd be getting beat by people who put a lot of time into the game and know it like the back of their hand, and that's just not going to be fun for either um, audience, I think. So for ranked, I uh, I would I would say that there is a problem in terms of finding matches. The population counts low. I think TDM has like 200 people uh, maxed, which is actually kind of sad to see, and uh, it does take a little longer to find matches, but I'd argue that the quality of the matches that you do find is just so much better, and that's because you're going to have full party on full party. Uh, startup. There's not going to be any bots. I mean, people do quit. They need to uh, punish them a little more harshly than they already do. But like I said, I would rather wait 10 minutes and have one really nice match in ranked. Um, and I think to this day, I've not put any quick match on my channel. And that's just because uh, when I play ranked, I'm expecting to play people who are um, going to put their tryhard pants on who and who want to play competitively. Um, and that's normally what you get. Now, I know that teams in ranked might be a party for some and that will make people shy away from ranked but it's honestly not that big of an issue and I play solo all the time see lots of people playing solo and there's only the odd time where I get frustrated because full teams are just um, bashing um, regular teams so I would really like to see a lot more people playing uh, ranked and I know that that's probably where a lot of the competitive audience is right now too and I would hate to see the competitive audience killed including myself, just because ranked was gone. Mind you, I don't think they're going to remove ranked. So I guess the big thing for me is that there needs to be more of an incentive to play ranked. And the first thing that popped in my head was thinking back to Gears 1. If any of you play Gears 1, do you remember that really awesome gamer picture you got for killing 10,000 people uh, 
in ranked matches. I remember it took me 25,000 kills because it was such a broken achievement, but nonetheless, what that did was provide me incentive to play ranked matches. And I think that's what's missing from uh, Gears Judgment, even the previous Gears title. There's literally no incentive to play ranked over quick. People are going to play quick just because it's faster to find a match and they see it as no different from, uh, from ranked. And here we have all these armor skins, all these gun uh, gun skins and whatnot, and I don't understand why there isn't some sort of um, gun skin exclusive to people that play ranked. I think that would give a huge incentive for people to play ranked matches, just so they can show off some of the cool things they unlocked, whether it's getting 10,000 kills in ranked or or just uh, getting MVP, MVP 100 times, I think that uh, certain accomplishments in ranked matches should be rewarded with uh, exclusive things in the game, and that would actually make people want to play ranked a little bit more. You'd stop seeing the same people over and over in ranked, and you'd see people coming to it a little bit more often, uh, just so they can get some of the cool unlocks. I think right now you get extra XP, which is really not even, um, not even that great, but uh, overall I would say the lack of uh, the lack of people in ranked is just due to people's um, refusal to to give it a chance or give it a try, and I would really like to see uh, more people playing ranked. That's pretty much going to sum up what I have to say about it. Let me know what you think. I do have exams, probably the worst exam schedule I've ever seen in my life, so I'm going to be busy over the next little while, so don't, ex don't expect too much out of me. Uh, but when I am done, I have some pretty good stuff coming. So... Pray for me that I pass my courses because if I don't, I will be living on the streets and that will pretty much sum up everything I wanted to say. So everybody, I will catch you later and take care.